Oh, I get to go first. Mm -hmm. You have to. Oh my god. Look at the wall. Look at that. Oh, it stinks in here too. Jesus. It's Holy There's seriously so much It's just all It's nothing but Oh my god. What the I think she should have given us a chance. I mean, we've been there for three years. And we were always, we were always early. And like I said, I know the house, the house got bad in the last year. And... And we never intended for that to happen, but we were working on fixing it. Yeah, J James, we just need to knock this one down. Load of nets. All right, so here's the uh, piece of shit. It's a pretty sweet view. Do yeah, I know, I was going to say, let's go check out the garage and the car first before we go inside. we got to build it up, man. Give them some anticipation. There's uh, signs of garbage. Probably no life here. Teen spirit. Dog bit. Teen spirit. Feels like a uh, dog piss and sadness. Probably some body hanging in that bag back there. Well, let's go get hepatitis. And here goes the wild collection of diseases, starting now. Oh, I get to go first. You have to, oh my god. Look at the wall. Look at that. Oh, it stinks in here too. Jesus. Does this camera have smell o vision No. I don't even want to talk anymore. I don't open my mouth. Those are stuffed birds, right? <laughs> the birds on the window, so fake, right? Look at the nets. Safe to say, there's nobody here. They certainly trashed the shit out of this place. Oh, it smells so bad. This tenant completely trashed the home. Let's take a look at the interview now. Florida, to our understanding, according to your landlord, you rented a property from her in Pace, Florida. For twelve hundred dollars a month, and then at one point you stopped paying, and she had to proceed with eviction. Is that correct? No, I was late in November because I had a screw up with my bank account, and uh, we talked, and she said that I could make it up in December and everything would be fine. And then all of a sudden, she started processing eviction paperwork. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh, man, all right. I think I'm just going to change the locks and get the fuck out of here. Start opening some windows if you can. God damn, there's just fucking bugs everywhere. This flooring's just buckled over here. I want you to open the door. Just enough. Oh, I almost dropped the freaking whole camera just fell off my thing.
And uh, she said, well, they'll stop it if you pay all the money on December 1st. Well, I, I didn't trust her. She was already looking for a real estate agent. She wasn't going to stop that eviction. And so yeah. I didn't. Okay. Now, when you say she was already looking for a real estate agent, what do you mean by that? Neighbor. One of our neighbors is a real estate agent, and she was looking to hire a real estate agent, and I got told. Okay. H hire a real estate agent to, to what? I assume you sell the home or? To sell the place. Anything interesting? Uh, well, I figured there'd be a lot of shit up there because the cat reverted to just puking and shitting on the steps here. There's just a ton of shit under the kitchen table. This is a doozy. Oh god damn it. The up the freaking top window won't stay open. Well no, we we're supposed to leave these cracked, but we can't. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, the the top window doesn't stay open at all, is what I mean. You had the ability to pay her the money but you didn't want to pay it because you were afraid she was going to sell your home? No, she was going to evict us anyway. So I, I felt that she was just going to go ahead with the eviction and not stop it anyways. Because okay. she had made one statement and then went back on it. I, I didn't trust her. And from talking to the real estate uh, company, it didn't sound like they did either. They didn't think that she was going to stop the eviction either. As far as you living in the home, how long did you live in this home? We were there for three years. Okay, and you paid every single month right up until the eviction? Yep. Okay, and how come you did not pay the rent for the month in question that led to the eviction? What had happened? There, there was a problem with my account. Um, I don't know if it got hacked or what, but the, the, the check got returned. And I tried to make a partial payment, and they, they, did, they charged service fees, and then that one got returned. So, I mean, I was, I was in kind of a bind. Okay. I now, killed her and I killed her right away. You are a grown adult, as is she. Do you really feel like it is her responsibility to help support you and your family? I would assume, you know, as adults, you and your husband, you guys would take on that responsibility to provide a roof over your own heads, no? I think she should have given us a chance. I mean, we've been there for three years, and we were always, we were always early. And like I said, I know the house The house got bad in the last year, and, and we never intended for that to happen, but we were working on fixing it. Yeah, J James, we just need to knock this one down. God, the stairs. It's just like caked on here. Oh, my God. There's so much shit. It's Holy fuck. There's seriously so much shit. It's just all shit. It's nothing but shit. Oh my god. What the fuck? Now, as far as the eviction process down there in Florida, when um, you do an eviction anywhere, of course, there's a court hearing and uh, both the plaintiff and the defendant, uh, you know, the plaintiff being the landlord, the defendant being you, uh, you both stand in front of a magistrate and, and plead your side of the case. Did you go to the eviction hearing and explain all this about you didn't think she would, uh, you didn't think she would actually allow you to stay there even if you paid? Did you explain this to the magistrate? I, I didn't go. I didn't have a vehicle. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have anything at that time. I think even the bugs cut out of here. What? It's just too dirty. Guys, like it's too dirty for bugs around here. I don't even want to open my mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet. I didn't even notice. What? 
It's all fucking maggots on the ground up here. So you just opted to not pay and then not go to court and you just were accepting that you were being evicted? Yeah, I just didn't do anything. And that part of that part of that is uh it goes along with my disability. I was pretty much in a in a in a deep depression and I couldn't move or do anything. Uh I think you got the idea. I'm turning mine off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is holy fucking fuck. Fucking I, I think uh Fucking animals, man. How the hell do you turn this goddamn thing off? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.